how to place an image within the HTML page and display it from the browser. And to do that, there is a tag IMG. And this tag doesn't need to be closed like that. You just remove that. So it doesn't need to be closed like the paragraph or strong or any other HTML tag. So this EMG needs attributes in order to find out where the image is located. So after we create the tag, there is an attribute which is required in order to find out where the image is located. And this attribute is CRC. And by CRC, I mean so that I need to place the content of the image right here. And by content is the URL of the image. And what do I mean by that? If we take a look here, I have an images folder and I have some images within this images folder. Let's just use the name within the image. I go for pineapple.jpg. Now, if I save that and I refresh the page, you'll see that I have something here, which means that the image doesn't exist. Why? Because the URL or the value of CRC is not correct. Because pineapple is within an images folder and I'm just placing pineapple.gpg and not the images folder. Because if we check a look at this HTML page, so we'll find out that it is at the same level as the images folder. So the first interesting thing to do here is I need first to enter to the images folder. Okay, let's just do that again. I remove that. I need to enter first to the images folder. Then I place the image and save that. And if we take a look here, I have the results as an image. Now let's just go and place the other image. So in this case, I will go for pick totally, then save that. And you'll see that this is the new result with the new image. But be careful with the name. For example, if I just change the name, which it doesn't exist. So because I need to be careful with the name and I refresh the page, you'll find out that I have this picture right here, which means that the image is not found. Okay, let's just return to the real name. Now I have the image displayed. So just need to access to the folder, then put the name which needs to be correct. There are some other attributes that you can add to this image tag. Okay, let's just go for the next one, which is alt, which helps us to add a descriptive text for the specific image. Let's just add a text that can describe this image right here. Okay, I'll go for vacation home. Now, if I save the page, so the text will not be displayed within the page. However, if you want to take a look to that, okay, let's just remove the page or I change the name to something that doesn't exist because this picture truly totally doesn't exist. Okay, when I refresh the page, you will find out that the content of the alt is displayed. Okay, let's just return the image. Then this alt is used not only for the purpose if the image is not, it doesn't exist, but this alt is also used for search engines to define what this image is about by describing it using vacation home. So once someone will just type vacation home on Google images, it will find out this image right here. We add the image and we define the URL of the image. Then we add the descriptive text about the image. And there's also some other attributes that you can use, but they are not required. So for example, if you want to control the width and the height of the page, so you can use width. Okay, let's just use width and I will go for 300. And I can also go for height and I'll go for... So you can use both the width and the height. Or for example, if you want to remove this height and save that again, you'll find out that it's taking no effect. And I can go and I remove move the width, I will only have the height and control the height to 100. As you see, so I'm just using one value, which is height or width. But in general, the size is controlled by CSS and its attributes are not required.